Hi, my name is James Shepard, and you're watching the second video in a series on how to monetize payments. Before we get into the nitty gritty details about uh, you know, integration with APIs and onboarding APIs and payments integration, all this stuff, you know, should we become a payfax? Should we be an ISO? You know, before we get into all of that, we gotta start with a solid foundation and say, like, what is payment processing? How does it actually work? And how is it so profitable? Why do I even want to monetize payments? What does that even mean? How much money can I make, right? So this video, I'm gonna do my best to answer that very complicated question in a very short period of time. Let's start out with some terminology that you need to know and with a specific example that I'm gonna be using throughout the rest of these videos. So. I own a company called CC Storage. The company itself is not at all important to this mini series, but it is a self storage management software company. So we provide software to self storage property owners that they can use to manage their self storage property. That's not important at all for these videos, but I'm gonna be using examples from my own company and how we did our payments integration. You know, what worked, what didn't work, all of that, right? And so I'm gonna be using that throughout, okay? So I wanna give you some terminology that's really important and I'm gonna use this example of my company to illustrate these terms, all right? So let's dive into that list. Term number one is the card holder, the card holder. Now, I'm gonna use card holder to mean the customer and I'm gonna include people that are paying with ACH or with a card, even though obviously ACH, they don't really have a card, right? But the card holder is the person who's making the payment. All right, so in the particular context of self-storage, that would be the person who is renting the self-storage unit. That is the card holder. Secondly, we have the merchant, the merchant. Now in the payments industry, the merchant is the business that is accepting the payment. All right, so in this case, for the specific example, that would be the person who owns the self-storage property, right? That would be the merchant. They have a customer who is a card holder that is paying them money. So we have a card holder paying a merchant, let's say $100 a month in order to rent a self-storage unit. So maybe your company offers software to hair salons. Well, the card holder would be the person getting their hair cut. The merchant would be the person that owns the hair salon, right? That's how those terms work. And so you can think of that for any number of different business types. Number three, we have the payment processor. Now, in another video, I'm gonna dive much deeper into the concept of a payfac or a payment facilitator and whether or not your company should become a payfac or if you should be an ISV, an ISO, there's all these different words. And it gets really, really complicated, like way more than that. Like I said at the beginning, in the last video, I do a lot of consulting for different companies. And so we could talk about, you know, full service providers and acquirers and issuers and all of that. But I don't wanna do that for this video series because it's not really relevant to the topic at hand. So I'm gonna keep it really simple here and just say a payment processor. A payment processor, that is the company that is actually moving the money around it's also the company that is providing the APIs that you need in order to integrate payments. So somebody has to make all this stuff work, right? Somebody has to connect your software through to the Visa network and to the bank. And then when the money comes in, they have to know that this money goes to this merchant versus this merchant versus this merchant for this cardholder. And they have to know what the fees are and all of that stuff that goes into payment processing, that is the payment processor. So that's the terminology we're gonna use for that. Again, we'll talk later about how you can kind of become the payment processor by being you're using like Payfac as a service or being a full Payfac. I'll talk about all that in another video, but in this case, we'll talk about the payment process. The last term is the ISV or independent software vendor. Again, I realize there are many different terminolo terminologies that we could use. We could call it a SaaS company, maybe we could call it different things, but I'm gonna use the term ISV and that is you if you're a software company, right? So that would be, in this case, CC Storage, okay? So CC Storage is an ISV, it's an independent software vendor that created software that allows merchants to accept payments from cardholders. Is your head spinning yet? Lots and lots of information, right? This is like trying to you know, uh, drink water out of a fire hose. There's so much information here. I'm trying to simplify it as much as I can. Let's go over it one more time and then we're gonna dive into the next video, dive a little bit deeper into like how the actual payment processing flow works and where the money happens, okay? But let's run through these terminologies one more time. So we have the cardholder, which is the person making the payment. 
We have the merchant, which is the business that is accepting the payment. We have the ISV, which is the software company that is enabling the merchant to accept payments from the cardholder. Then we have the payment processor, which is providing the APIs to the software company in order to facilitate the transactions and make everything work on the back end. Uh, for a different payment processor that you'd be more familiar with, think Stripe. Right? That's a, that is also a payment processor. It just so happens they don't share any of the money with you that they make, but that's a payment processor, right? Now you have that full scope of the players. Like that's who we have. We have cardholders, merchants, ISVs, and payment processors. Now in the next video, let's talk about the flow of a transaction, how it works, and how you're able to make money on it.